Hello, welcome back to Ayastack. In this video, I am going to show you how you can call a function of another component. There are different ways to call a function of another component. In this video, I will discuss two methods that will show you how you can call a function from another component. First method would apply if you have a child component. But, but what if your component is not child but it is a sibling component or some other component that lives somewhere else in more complicated structure of your application. So in that case, we will be using a service. So let's begin. First of all, make sure you have the Angular project ready and created. I already have my Angular project. I'm using Angular 17 and I have removed all of the unnecessary code from this component and just kept the hello world in it. Make sure to start the project in your terminal. Now it is running in my browser. Okay, so let's begin from the child component example. So for that, I would quickly create a component with the name child. For that, open your terminal in the VS code and run the command ng generate c child that will generate a component with the name child as we are using the standalone component in our Angular project. So we have to import the child component in our app.component.ts. So let's do that. I will type the name of the child component and if you are using VS code, then you may see these uh, suggestions in this way. If you type just few characters of the component class name you will see all of the suggestions so you will find that the first suggestion is of our child component that is showing the path of the component class so in the vs code if you press enter it will automatically import that component for us so you don't have to manually type the line of code you can save your time in this way but if for some reason it is not showing the suggestion you can then manually type the import statement okay all right once that is done you are ready to use the child component in the app component so let's add the child component in the app.component.html now uh, let's visit the browser and make sure that the child component is visible all right it's visible for us now now we will go to the child component.ts and here I will define a function show heading and I will also define a property heading visible is equal to true and now whenever this function would be called we will update the heading visible property to true like this and now here in the child.component.html I will create a heading h1 tag and here I will add some text heading from the child component okay so once that is done i will wrap it in the if condition in this way and here we will use the property heading visible so if the variable is true then this heading would be visible otherwise this heading would be invisible and it would be removed from the dom automatically if the value of this variable is false okay now let's go to the app.component.ts and now we want to access the function of this child component here for that we will use the view child decorator and make sure to import this decorator from the angular slash core once it is imported here we will have to pass the class of the component that you want to access so as we know that this component is using this class name child component so we will just use that child component and we make sure that this class has been imported in your file once it is imported you can give it a name so i am going to give it the name child component you can give it whatever name you prefer it doesn't matter now i will provide the type of the variable the type of the variable would be the child component and now it is giving me the error that property child component has no initializer and is not definitely assigned in the constructor so it is complaining because we did not make it optional yet so it was expecting that we will give it some value maybe here or in the constructor but we did not do that and also it happens because when the component is mounted at that time when the component is first time loaded at that time uh, the child component was not available that's why it is not able to access the child component at that time but after some time when the child component is mounted it will be saved in this variable in short if you just want to avoid this error you just have to add the question mark to make it optional so it is optional but we definitely know that after some time 
after a few milliseconds or less than milliseconds this variable will have some value in it i will create a button here show child heading okay whenever we will click on this button this will call a function so we have registered the click event and whenever we click on this button we want to use this property as we did not make it private yet so it is publicly available in the html so we can just use it here if you are using vs code and you type dot you will see all of the available public properties and functions of the child component as here we want to just call a function show heading so just use that and call it okay save it and now go to the child dot component let's make it false here so that in the beginning the heading would be invisible and in the app.component.html i just want to remove the flex properties so that we could see in vertical manner okay now let's click on this button and you will see that the heading is visible so when we clicked on this button it called a function that is inside this child component and when that function was executed it immediately changed the property of heading visible to true and when the property became true then the heading was visible all right now let's move to the next method where this component is not child and this would be a sibling component so i am going to remove the child component and let's remove all of the references of this child component from everywhere and from here as well and from here okay save it now i will create two components so first component would, would be the sidebar so let's do that ng generate c sidebar press enter and that would generate the sidebar component now let's generate ng generate c content press enter all right both of these components have been generated now in the app.component.ts i will import both of these components in the import array so just type the name of the classes sidebar component and content component both of these classes are imported and we have added in the import array now we are ready to use them in our app.component.html here i am going to add sidebar and after that sidebar i want to add content okay both of components are added this is sidebar and this is the content component now i will move this button inside the content component in the content.component.html file i will just paste that button and you will see that this button is visible and let's change the text of this button that would say show sidebar heading save it and and in the sidebar.component.ts i will add a property heading visible like we did before and i will set the value to false for now and we will create a function that would say show heading and that will do the same thing that we did earlier okay now let's add the if condition again if heading visible then show the heading okay heading from sidebar component save it all right now the question is that how we can access this show heading function from the content.component.ts so the answer is the services so we have to generate a service let's do that ng generate s for service and give it a name for the service i will give it name general press enter you will see that general service has been created now in that service i will create a property on button click okay so this variable will hold the instance of subject from the rxjs so type subject and make sure to import the subject from rxjs so it is complaining that we have to use the new keyword obviously because this is a class we have to instantiate okay we are going to inject this general service in both of our components so first of all let's go to the sidebar.component.ts and here i will create a property general service is equal to use the inject function and give it the class name general service in this way and let me fix the spelling general service okay make sure to import this inject function from angular slash core okay so once that is done i will define the constructor method here constructor and within that i will use this dot general service dot on button click 
now we can subscribe to this subject so use the subscribe function and pass the callback function to it so whenever this subject is triggered this callback function would be executed so as soon as this function is executed we can call our function this dot show heading okay save it now let's go to the content dot component dot ts and create a variable general service is equal to inject and pass the general service class name to it make sure to import the general service and the inject function as well now on this button i will access my service directly on click so use general service dot on button click and here i will use a function next and you can give it an empty string save it now let's click on this button and you will see that we are still able to call a function of a component that is not directly child of your main component so these are all the two methods that i want to discuss in this video i hope that i was able to provide you some value if this video provided you some value then please like and share this video and also please subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to get notified for my upcoming videos and if you have any comments or feedback or suggestions then please leave them in the comment section below thanks for watching and see you in the next video